Hey guys, Ford here from Ford's Tool Reviews, coming at you again with another video. Uh, well, as you guys know, I got a new phone, and I'm going to talk about a little bit, it's not really a tool tool, but it's something that I think that everyone should have. Uh, I bought this actually over a year ago, and I thought that my little old phone would use it because it was a Samsung. It is a QI charger, and I don't really, I use it for this phone. It's a fast charge, and I gotta say it works really well. Um, this, this is one of the greatest things that Samsung has ever done, uh, was incorporating QI charging. Basically, it eliminates the need for type C which I still have a Type-C charger, I just don't use it right now because I don't have a reason to. Um, the wireless QI charging works just fine, and it's, in a lot of ways, this is a lot easier. So, uh, something I would recommend getting in the shop that you guys work in is a Samsung Fast Charge QI charger. Let's go ahead and look at the back. I don't mind sharing the model number. Wireless charger Samsung model number EPPN920 input 0.5 volt, no, 5 volts in 2 amps, 9 volt at 167 amps. I'm sorry, 1.67 amps. Um, <clears throat> there's the serial number, there's the, uh, the IC number, the FCC ID, made in product of Vietnam, I guess Samsung, it's got a nice rubber backing, it's got a little fan built into it, I believe that's a fan, it's funny, when you first look at this thing, you think it's a speaker, and it's got a little blue LED right back over here that shows you that it's lit or that it's charging. So very good, um, very good idea to add with. It's a very good thing to have with this. Um, I uh, am just now getting better quality videos and photos on all my social media platforms with this phone so unfortunately I need to get a couple of things I'm going to have to in order to really expand my YouTube channel I've got to buy a um, very heavy duty heavy protection case for my new camera phone and because it is HD um, and uh, I have to buy a tripod so that I can do really good uh, not only landscape, but um, because <clears throat> uh, that last, my last camera, I actually have the f old phone that I used to work. This is the old phone that I used to use. This is my Samsung. Yeah, you guys can kind of tell what happened here. It bent in half. It broke. It still works fine ish but there you go you turn it on and it it got squashed screen everyone's like the screen looks fine yeah the screen looks fine but you can see the pixelization oh yeah that's not good that thing was toast It, it's toast. You squish one of these Samsungs, and I tell you that they will not stay. They will not work. And to turn the stupid thing off, which sucks because if I if I hadn't backed up some of my videos and photos onto my social media platform. Um, on Ford's Tool Reviews Facebook page, 
my personal and my other pay, uh, Facebook page, I would be stuck right now. It, it wouldn't. Yeah, you can see. So in order to turn this thing off now, I have to take the back cover off. And yank the battery out. But I'm keeping this phone for for a little while longer, just until I can get like a little place to store the SD card because you don't want to get rid of your SD cards. And there's a skosh thing that I'm not really wanting to put on the back of the phone that I just got with the stickiness because what happens if this thing breaks and then I'm out another skosh magnet for my vehicles. But that's that's pretty much what happened to my phone. So like I said with this, and this couldn't use fast charging. And this one can. I bought this back in 2015. I can't believe I've had it for two years and I've only used it a couple of times recently. Actually, I bought it because there was another phone that I had acquired and uh, it had the same HD camera, but it was... Uh, but it, it's in, and this thing, this phone, just, the camera quality was absolutely horrid. It was 360 pixels. You guys remember when I was doing my build modification videos and my tool reviews, and this was the camera that I was recording with. And, and you can, yeah, you can kind of tell that's a 360p camera right there. That's not very good. Junk. I'm just trying to, I want to keep hold of the SD card and find an SD card holder. <coughs> Excuse me. And then after that, I want to get rid of the, the phone. Because I got some old stuff on the SD card on my old phone that I want to keep. Uh, I kind of wish they hadn't sold me the SD card that was with this phone in the phone, but what can you do? Um, yeah, anyway, I mean... You live and you learn. Uh, there's something I want to try here in a few minutes. So I'm going to... Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. In the next video, what we're going to try is... I'm going to see if a uh, battery pack will help with the fast charge. Let's see how that works. Anyway, guys. Just wanted to explain what happened to my old camera. And uh, now that I have a newer camera... Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Thank you. You guys are awesome. This has been Ford from Ford's Tour Reviews, signing out.